Welcome, friends, to Crazy Women Country, where women's voices matter. We bring you the greatest female voices in the music industry, from the artists, songwriters, and producers, to managers and executives, and all the women who make the music industry what it is today. Thank you for joining us. Hello, friends, and welcome to an episode of Crazy Women Country. I'm Donna. I'm Paula, and today we have Swansea singer-songwriter Ilary. How are you doing? Nice, nice to meet you both. Thank you. Thank you very so much for joining us. Perfect. Perfect. So, the most important question. Who is Ilary? We love this question. <laughs> So um, I'm a country a pop singer-songwriter from Swansea in South Wales, which is in the UK. Um, and I've been releasing EPs and albums for a couple of years. Um, I took a road trip around um, America when I was studying out there. Um, and I just fell in love with the country music I heard in, in Nashville and North Carolina and in the sort of southern states area. So um, I just kind of brought a little piece of that back with me. And, and now I, I make music sort of inspired by that. Awesome. That's amazing. Wonderful. It's so cool that you took the road trip here in America and then, you know, just discovered that and, and, and brought it back with you. I love that. That is so cool. Yeah, it's, it's such an amazing experience. I've done so many road trips around the States and it's it's such a big country. Trying to, you know, pick out places to go to, you know, it's, it's amazing. It really is. So uh, that's awesome. Um, so tell us about your most recent single, Delete It. So Delete It is a song, um, it's from my EP that's out on Friday and it's um, one of the puzzle pieces, if you will, of this kind of night out concept EP. So it's from the perspective of a girl who's texting someone that she's dating or kind of seeing and isn't quite sure what the sort of commitment level is. So she's kind of questioning whether or not to say I love you um, and just kind of keeps rewriting the message and then deleting it over and over again. So that's kind of the, the communication via technology kind of anxiety I think we all feel sometimes. Perfect. Yes, definitely. It's definitely a 21st century song, that's for sure. Yes. <laughs> it's awesome. It really yeah. is good. I, I must admit, I really loved it. Um, so, perfect. Well, who are um, some of the women that have inspired you to, to do what you're doing today? Um, so some of the arts I really like, um, are people like Casey Musgraves, I've got into a lot recently. Um, there's some really good British ones, Ward Thomas, so like these twin sister band, um, and obviously like Taylor Swift back here. She's been like a constant inspiration, like back from when I was a teenager. Um, but there's so many amazing women now, like doing country music at the level I'm doing it at and kind of pushing through. So um, I saw you'd featured Hallie Kearns from uh, Nashville the other week and um, I did a live stream with her last year um, kind of live from Nashville and, and from Swansea that was really cool so there's just so many like cropping up constantly and it's really cool. I loved one of the the reviews of you was it was it Casey Musgrave with an English grammar? Oh, um, London oh grammar. Meets right. London Gram yeah meets London grammar <laughs> I think that um, kind of the, the pop country kind of blend and the sound uh, which is very cool. That, that, that's uh, <laughs> an amazing, I think it's a compliment in there somewhere. <laughs> I, think, I think so. I think it quite describes that quite well. <laughs> <laughs> which is very cool. Um, so your uh, single, New Sin, which you brought out at the end of last year, um, break your personal streaming records. Now, what was that like? It did. Yeah, it was exciting and and sort of and thrilling and I could had a success with the, the the song just before that as well so I was sort of hoping that wasn't a fluke and trying to sort of prove to myself that it you know people were actually listening and it wasn't sort of yeah just a fluke that had happened so it was amazing to see that success rate again. That's perfect I mean what was it a hundred thousand no yes yep yep hundred thousand I can't read my numbers here <laughs> excuse me um a hundred thousand views in 24 hours that's I mean that's a no, um, I, was, I think it was a thousand in twenty four hours, but it has reached a hundred thousand now. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not quite. Yeah. You can't read your numbers. <laughs> no, I've read the wrong number. No, I read it as that, but obviously, 
Oh, we're trying to inflate it for you already. So yeah, your next single that's what we're hoping for. Twenty four hours, a hundred thousand, everyone help her out. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> for inflation your ego here. See, this is how yeah. amazing this girl is. It should have been that figure. Why wasn't it? Come on, people. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. See? My figure was right. I just had the twenty four hour sort yeah, of yeah. <laughs> oh. this is um this is crazy woman company. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Eternity. Yes, yes. Let, let's quickly move on to our 20 questions plus one. <laughs> yes. I can do this part really, really well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, are you ready for this? I think so. Okay, so these are just really fun questions. So we learn a little bit more about you as a person um, and not just the artist. So. Um, okay, early bird or night owl? Night owl. Perfect. If you could be a member of a sitcom family, what family would you be a member of? Oh, that's such a hard one. Um, probably like Gavin and Stacey. I don't know if you're both familiar with that. Oh, yes. <laughs> Definitely. I am not. I, I don't know if it was ever shown in the States, but it's a, it's a TV show that was actually based in Wales, based yeah. in Barry, wasn't it, in Wales? And it's hilarious. Do you know, um, who plays Gavin in it? What's his name? Um, Matthew Horn. Oh, no, oh, sorry. No, James Corden, you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, James Corden does um, a TV show in the States, isn't he? Late, the Late Late Show? Yeah. Yeah. Um, he's in it. He was one of the writers, I think, wasn't he? But... It's hilarious. That's a great one. I will have to check it out, see if I can get it out somewhere. It's very, very good. It's very, very funny. <laughs> um, okay. If we had a look in your iPod or your computer, what would be your guilty pleasure music? Oh, that's a good question. Um, there's some, like, I call it like bro country. That's like really, really cheese. Um, <laughs> probably like part of the line. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> it's got to be a little bit of cheap now. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, what's the weirdest, sweetest or kindest thing a fan has ever done for you? Um, someone set up, um, like, you know, the, the link tree kind of things for, for one of the songs. I was trying to sort that out and their fan had, like, created one of those link trees for me, which was really nice, actually, because I was struggling to, to work out how to do that. Um, I can't think of any weird ones yet, but uh, yeah, we'll wait and see on that one. <laughs> Keep us posted on that one, yeah. <laughs> That'd be cool. Um, boots or heels? Boots. Um, Favourite drink? Uh, gin and tonic or tea. Or t- it has to be tea. Well, you know. <laughs> it's, it's quite clearly tea. So. <laughs> She's the best. Um, okay, what's your favourite holiday? Um, probably Italy or somewhere. I've, I've been to Rome a couple of times. And that was that was really special. It's it's really cool to start with Italy. Um, okay, what's your favourite animal? Um, dog. <gasps> That's it. We like you even more now. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, if you could add someone to Mount Rushmore, who would it be and why? Oh, wow. Um, it doesn't need to be political. I don't yeah. even know. Yeah, like, steer me <laughs> that one. Um, <laughs> oh, that's a good question. Taylor Swift, why not? Awesome. Why not? Perfect. <laughs> um, what was your first concert? Uh, my first concert was a Scottish band called Run Rig, um, like a sort of folk band. Yeah. Yeah, Run Rig. Cool. Wonderful. What was your favorite color? My favorite color is green. What's the best thing since sliced bread? Um. Oh, sliced bread is good. Um. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't think. Um. Probably non-stick pans. Ooh, that's a nice one. I like that. <laughs> you can, it is. I know. Yeah, true. I was just saying that the other day. We had foil the other day on grill, and I was sticking. Everything was sticking. I'm like, where's the non-stick foil? Exactly. 
question. Oh, if you could talk to anyone, alive or dead, who would you want to talk to, and what would you want to talk about? Um, ooh. I'd probably talk to Paul McCartney and uh, find out his songwriting process. Yes, that would be awesome. That would be good. Mm. If you weren't doing music, what would you be doing? If I wasn't doing music, um... Probably something else creative. I did um, drama in school, so maybe like theatre or or drawing or something. That would be cool. That would be cool. If you could be a Disney character, what character would you be? Um, ooh. probably Ariel from The Little Mermaid. Without the ending, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> With the happy ending, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> happy ending, so oh, that's perfect. So, what's your favorite flavor of ice cream or favorite snack? Um, my favorite flavor of ice cream is pistachio, which is a weird one. Um, <laughs> and my favorite snack is probably pretzels. Ah, there you go. Very cool. Can you tell us your favorite book or favorite author you have? Um, my favorite book is. Um, quite dark, but The Handmaid's Tale, I really like. We were just talking about that before. I tried to watch a TV show of that, and I barely got past it. even worse than the book. It, it's, like, weirdly, like, I have to finish it, but it's really dark and, and sinister. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it was a bit tough, I have to say. <laughs> um, That's one show I have not gotten into yet, so. Yeah, it's you have to be in the right frame of mind, I think. <laughs> yeah. So, hypothetically, if I came to you and said I need to hide a dead body, do you know a good place? Um, probably behind my shed, because no one ever goes there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just stop them up there. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh. 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 What would be a good theme song for your life? Good theme song? Um... Um, there's a song uh, by Casey Musgraves called Dime Store Cowgirl, which I, I really like. And there's the line, um, you can take me out of the country, but you can't take the country out of me. Probably that one. That's a great line. Beautiful. Yeah. She always has some great lines in her songs, for sure. Yeah. yeah. So, oh, Follow Your Arrow as well, actually. That's a great one. <laughs> yeah, I love that one as well. So, tell our audience. Uh, an artist, a uh, CD, an album, whatever that they should listen to, maybe a song that they should listen to before they die. Besides yours, Sorry, obviously. <laughs> oh, yes. Can you tell our audience? Uh, basically give them a record or an album or a CD or song that they should listen to before they die. Um, you should listen to Melodrama by Lord. That whole album is, is phenomenal. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. That's a great one. Okay. Now... An important question. I hope you're ready for this one. Okay. Do you know what we haven't got? Um, okay. So, who is your favorite Crazy Women Country host? That's not a fair question. <laughs> <laughs> Although, I don't know your names either yet because we both have Crazy Women Country. Oh, yeah, we haven't got. Any oh, we've to change our names. Oh, my God. We've made um, it easy. Here, here let, me, let me rename. Here. I'm one of you surrounded there by There you go. <laughs> yeah, you just have to go by our background. So one with the, you know. The one with the motorhome in the background or the. <laughs> one with the teddy bears. There you go. <laughs> I mean, Donna, can I, can I have a go in your motorhome? And then it might, it might sway me, you know. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm on the West Coast right now. So you just got to come to the West Coast. Oh, oh, I've, I've only been once, actually. I'd love to go back to the West Coast. Oh, this, we love this area. It's so beautiful here. I'm not playing this game anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I got beaten up by a motorhome. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we'll move on from that. Hey, well, at least uh, I don't have the motorcycle behind me. You know that'll probably win too. <laughs> I, I've got a soft top in the in in in, in the garden. <laughs> oh, okay, so you're not just about the car then, yeah. <laughs> I should have sat in the garden with a soft top. You know, can't oh, soft yeah. top. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not to buy people really. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so tell us, what have you got planned for the rest of twenty twenty one? 
Uh, so obviously the EP is being released on Friday, so that's going to be really exciting. Um, I'm playing a festival in the beginning of September up in Blackpool in England, um, which is called the British Country Music Festival, um, along with I think Wildwood Kin are playing Els Bailey um, and a load of other cool cool artists. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I also have set up a night called Rodeo Town in Swansea, which is going to be a really cool new country night for country artists and hopefully like line dancers and all cool things like that so um hoping to get that off the ground and have a couple of good shows with that um and yeah I've got a couple of releases planned as well but I'm um, staying hush hush about those for a little bit <laughs> yeah keep that quiet until it, until it happens that's awesome that's awesome <laughs> so is Wales now open obviously, obviously with COVID um, yeah and pretty you're... much we have to wear masks in shops and um, public transport and I think like gyms and things but bars are pretty open now and clubs okay that's good we're all beginning to get back to some sort of normality yeah right? a little bit yeah we're, we're open here but you're still wearing we still have to wear masks even if you're not in the shop um but um I mean it's not a major inconvenience that's all good what about where you are Donna what's it like well they're starting to put mask mandates back in place in certain areas so um basically because of the lack of vaccine and spreading the super virus, if you will, if you now on this point. So yeah, so now we're back to uh, masking. We're back to at least indoor masking. Um, outdoor still open. Um, yeah. Proof of vaccines for certain things. Um, you know, like I think there was like a ball game that, that they said you can't go to it unless you have proof that you were vaccinated. And obviously children that aren't vaccinated, they weren't even allowing them, I think, at one point. So mm. yeah, so it's, I think it just depends on what state you are, what city everyone ha seems to have their own you have to know what's kind of going on and look it up and ask and yeah it's a bit like that here i suppose it's the same in, in england it's different between england and wales and, and yeah it's been a bit confusing actually with that but um yeah, yeah getting the swing of it i think but, uh, i mean they're starting to vaccinate the youngsters over here now the, the yeah um, wales has been really ahead of it as well which is um which is cool which is what you need <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, because awesome. I mean, you, just like the flu, you could still get it, but you're not going to get as sick or, or have those severe symptoms yeah. or die or you know what I mean. It's like, why not get it? So yeah, yeah. yeah. you know, it's. Well. I, I made a joke the other day. I said I like to hug people. That's why I got the vaccine so I can hug people. <laughs> <laughs> that is a great one. That yeah. is a great way to get the vaccine too. Isn't it? <laughs> perfect, perfect. Well, this yeah. has been fun. It really has. This has been a blast. So, um, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. It's been so fun. Good. Even without craziness, and me not being able to get my fingers yeah. right. Seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Hoping for that. Just, hours yeah. and four hours. That's the best. This is just making you. Even more popular, you see? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you are welcome back anytime. Yes. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to have been on the show. Great. Look forward to it. Definitely our pleasure. Yes. And thank you all for joining us for another episode of Crazy Women Country. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you. Bye. If you enjoyed today's episode of Crazy Women Country, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Be sure to click the subscribe button for new interviews weekly. And thank you, friends, for joining us today on Crazy Women Country, where women's voices matter.